Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson, and we're going to continue our studies. This time we're talking about word problems dealing with age. So, first thing you should know, to represent the past age, you must subtract from the present age. For example, if Ben is 20 years old now, five years ago Ben was 20 minus 5 or he was 15 years old. So we're subtracting from the present age because we're talking about the past age some time ago. To represent a future age, we're going to add from the present age. For example, if Ben is 20 year old now, 20 years old now, five years from now, Ben is going to be 20 plus five years or just 25 years old. So we're going to organize this into tables like we did in our other video to help us find out how old these people are. So we're dealing with age problems. So here's our first example. Dr. Rob is three times as old as his son, Daniel. 18 years from now, Dr. Rob will be twice as old as Daniel will be then. Find the present age of Dr. Rob. Hello. Okay, let's find those ages of Daniel and Dr. Rob. So here are the first things we should know. Who are we talking about? We're talking about my son Daniel and myself, Dr. Rob. So we got to get in this column the ages that they are now. So let's see how do we represent that. It talks about Dr. Rob is three times as old as his son Daniel. So I assume that's now, because this then says 18 years from now, so that's dealing with a future time, and it then talks about his, what he's going to be. So they don't say what the present age is, so we have to find according to this, the present age. So since I don't know how, da how old Daniel is, I'm going to call him a variable. I'm going to call it X to represent Daniel's age. So... Now, if we look at our first statement, it says Dr. Rob is three times as old as his son Daniel. So if I call Daniel's age X, it says Dr. Rob is or equals three times as old. So I'm going to take Daniel's age, which is X, and multiply it by three, and that'll give me Dr. Rob's age. So he's three times the age of his son. Now, they deal with something else, something called 18 years from now. So now they're dealing with the future. So here is the future. So we can now put a column together dealing with the future age. So what is about the future 18 years from now? Well, wait a minute. If I am now, if Dr. Daniel, my son, is... X years old, 18 years from now is the future, so I'd have to add on 18 years to his current age, and that'll give me his future age. So, 18 years from now, Daniel would be whatever his age now, plus 18, as well as Dr. Rob, whatever his age is now, we would add 18 to get his future age. So, there is what their future ages will look like, 18 years plus whatever their ages are now. Okay, let's try to build an equation based on what they're saying. So 18 years from now, Dr. Rob will be twice as old as Daniel will be then. So let's look at that. Let's write that out in words. So we'll build our equation. 18 years from now, Dr. Rob will be twice as old as Daniel. So let's look at what we're going to put. 18 years from now, so we're talking about the future. So we're talking about this column, these columns over here, about the future ages. So Dr. Rob 
And here's Dr. Rod's representation of the future 18 years from now. 3x plus 18. Will be is another way of saying, another way of saying is equal to. Now we have twice, which means two times as old as Daniel. So Daniel is, we're talking about his future age, x plus 18. So we have an equation here that we translated from words. And now let's do a little bit of solving to get our solution here. So I'm going to distribute so I can see what this looks like. Clean it up a little bit. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 18 is 36. So now I have an equation that I can solve for x by doing a little transpositioning here. So I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. What that does is it allows me to get rid of the 18s. I'm going to subtract 36 minus 18, and that'll be nice on the other side, leaving me with the 3x on this side, and 2x and 36 minus 18 is 18. So now I got to do a little more transposition and get the 2x on that side. So let's get that over there. So we'll subtract 2x from both sides. What that does is it clears out the 2x from here, and I'll have the 2x is being subtracted from 3x, and that'll give me one little x. And the 2x cancels out, equal, equals 18. So x is equal to 18. And if you remember, we said let x equal Daniel's age now. So we now know Daniel's age, and it is 18. So Daniel is 18. Well, his father is three times that age. So Dr. Rob is three times that age of Daniel. So three times Daniel's age would be 54. So you have just found Dr. Rob's age and Daniel's age. And we can check that by going back to this original statement. So let's check it. It said, we said Daniel is going to be 18 and Dr. Rob is going to be 54. So 18 years from now, Dr. Daniel is going to be, let's check his age, 36. And it says Dr. Rob will be twice as old as Daniel will be then. So I'm going to take Daniel's age, which is twice as old in the future, of 36, multiply that out, that's going to equal to Dr. Rob's age, twice as old as Daniel will be then, so from now. So that's going to equal to Dr. Rob's age, which is 54 plus, don't forget, the 18 to add on that, because 18 years from now, that should be equal. So let's multiply. 36 times 2 is 72. That's how old, that's what twice Daniel's age is. Now, let's check out 54, which is Dr. Rob's current age, but remember 18 years from now, that's how old Dr. Rob's going to be. 54 plus 18, guess what that equals to? If you said 72, you are correct. So, you just check Dr. Rob and his son's Daniel's age in the future. In the future, 18 years from now, Daniel will be 36. And 18 years from now, Dr. Rob will be 50, I'm sorry, 72. Let me erase that. Erase that. Dr. Rob will be 72. And if you look at that, that's twice as old as Daniel, because 2 times two times 36 does equal to 72. So you have done well if you understood that question. So you got Daniel 
current age and Dr. Rob's current age. So let's see what was the answer to the question. Find the present age of Dr. Rob. So the present age of Dr. Rob would be 54. And you better make sure you write that somewhere. So that way you've answered the question and write a nice sentence. That was a good question. So I hope you enjoyed it. Here's one for you. Derek is 40 years old and Kawhi Leonard is 20 years old. How many years ago was Derek three times as old as Kawhi was then? Hmm. So set up a chart. Check your understanding. I hope you understood what happened. If you don't, write down your questions and we'll go over it in class. There's one more question I want to give you about Alex. So hopefully you'll figure out how old Alex and his friend Ed are. So we're interested in Alex's age. So I hope you got something out of the video and I hope you understood what went on. So write down your questions, bring them in so we could see them in class tomorrow. So this is Dr. Robinson. Don't forget if you want more information and let me get that page. If you want more information, write us at YouTube. Okay, as I was saying, if you would like more information or a worksheet on this inf on this lesson, just write me at robinsonmath at AOL.com, and I'll be glad to give you that. So include your address and your information. That way I can get in contact with you with you and send a donation as well to help us keep doing the work that we're doing so all donations are definitely appreciated and please write a comment on YouTube to let us know how we're doing so that way I can continue to do better with my videos this is Dr. Robinson see you next time bye bye